Good morning and welcome. I'm Stavros, in case you didn't know. I'm here in Port Leash at the moment. Uh, I was looking for the Port Leash shopping centre and I pulled into the total wrong shopping centre to look for this classic car show, guys. Anyway, I'm here now. Um, McDonald's, closed for renovation. Uh, what else? Supermax, not open till 10 a.m. And it's now a quarter past nine. And so I had to cut over to Super Value there to get... Uh, this a nice cheap breakfast guys goat's cheese tartlet reduced from fiver down to 250 <laughs> and i have my coffee as well ah oh, right let's go over now the show is on over there guys let's go over and have a look <laughs> look at this little dog here look whoa he's off the oven in on top of me <laughs> this dog wants to come away with me look <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> huh? Look at him, look! <laughs> he wants to come away! Huh? I have a little biscuit here, I'll give it to him. <laughs> I have two little Jersey creams I'm gonna give him. Here, boy, here, boy. There you go, like that. Huh? <laughs> look. <laughs> I think this dog is a stray. <laughs> huh? Look. <laughs> Poor little thing. I'll leave this other biscuit here for him. Hmm? Enjoy! <laughs> yeah, okay, so the show is on downstairs. I'm just parked up here at the moment. So what's in that trailer over there? What is that, guys? Is that a Model T Ford? About to be offloaded? It could be. Let's go over and have a look. Wow, look at that, guys. I must find out what year that is. They're all coming in now, guys. Look at the old Mercedes behind there, look. Oh, cool. Oh, that is nice. Look at this. The Fintail Mercedes there. Oh, nice. Very cool car. Just heading down and this Model T Ford is from 1914. <laughs> so 103 years old. Yeah. That's uh, f that's fantastic. Uh, how long have you owned it for? Uh, two years. Two years. And did you bring it in from America? Yeah. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> that's where they all seem to be coming in from the states. But yeah. that's pretty cool. We'll watch you drive down now. <laughs> We've got two Beatles hiding down there, making their way down to the car park. Oh, another one there. And what have we got behind? Nissan Bluebird. Look at the Nissan Bluebird there. I think it's 1990, I think. But, uh, yeah. Have I, uh, have I already seen my star of the show, guys? Is this the star of the show? <laughs> 1914. Absolutely fantastic condition. Just look at it. All the gold. And on the front as well. Absolutely immaculate. Let's have a quick look at the interior here. Look at the finish on the seats. And the, the wooden dashboard. Can I press that? <laughs> Look at the horn. <laughs> That's, that is class. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> no problem. There he goes. Off in the Model T Ford. <laughs> and off they go. <laughs> Cheers now. <laughs> Excellent. Classic Ford Capri here. Very nice, green metallic, 1972. God, it is getting busy here with cars at the moment, guys. But check this out, look, a DeLorean. Now that is cool. Look at this, 1981. <laughs> there you go. Pretty cool. Mark 2 Ford Escort there. How are you doing? <laughs> Looking very well. Oh, there you go, Ford Capri. And what have we got behind there? Uh, is that an old 7 Series BMW? And a Mark 1 Ford Escort there behind. Oh, I like these. 1979 
7 series there. Oh, that looks very nice. What is it? A 728, is it, I think? Well, it's great to see so many cars pulling in so early in the morning as well. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out onto the road now and just get some of them pulling in outside as well. And then later on, we make our way down to the car park and uh, see them all parked up. But uh, yeah, let's go outside now. An old Rolls Royce pulling in here. Check out that white top. Now there are two entrances into this underground car park, so I'm probably only seeing a handful of the cars pulling in. There you go, 1977 Rolls Royce. The Vag boys are in town, look. Old 2002 here guys, 1972. There you go, going up in value nicely. These 2002s with the round lights at the rear. And the Mark II Ford Escort, 1978. An old Toyota Corolla there. PIE. That is a clear registration there guys. PIE. Could be 1985, 1984. Toyota Corolla. Is that a 240 or a 244? Not quite sure. And the old Opal there behind it. That is a 244. And the Opal Cavalier there. Convertible. You don't see many of those. He, has he had enough already? Uh, the, uh, the show has only just started. <laughs> What have we got here? A Buick. <laughs> a Buick! 1918 Buick there, guys. Look at that. 1918. And the Model T Ford we, we saw was 1914. And uh, there, Ford Capri there behind as well. And the old Carina there, guys. Look at this. From the 80s. <laughs> yeah. Brings back memories. The old Carina. Check this out, guys. Look at this. The SS. Wow. That is so cool. Whoa. <laughs> Unbelievable. Just in the lift now, making my way down to the car park here, the car show. <laughs> so. Yeah, let's go. We're two floors down now from where we were looking at the cars above. And here it all is, guys. The classic car show. <laughs> so this is where they're all pulling in here into this car park. So you can see yourself the size of this show. It is a big one. Uh, I had no idea it was going to be this big. But uh, we even have some new cars on display here from Nissan and Kia. Uh, so the new Nissan Micra there as well. And we have all these trade stands as well. Selling all car parts, all your books, memorabilia, little model cars and all there, guys, look. On the little Fiat 500. <laughs> and all these uh, more model cars there as well. All for sale at the show. And we even have the new Kia Stonic. I've not seen one of these on the road yet. Brand new to the market from Downies. And just check out the front of it there. What do you guys think of the new Kia Stonic? I think it looks okay, not too bad. But if I swing over here, we have a 1916 Renault Type EU. And let me just show you around this car from 1916. Not the oldest car here, of course. There are older cars and the old clock there. But uh, fantastic to see these old vintage cars. And there's something about this car I want to show you as well, which is quite unusual that the owner decided to hold on to. If you have a look at the side here, look. There are two bullet holes in the side, would you believe? And apparently the driver lost his leg over it. Two bullet holes. <laughs> and here on the bonnet as well, another bullet hole there. In your 1916 Renault. But uh, yeah, you see all sorts at this show. <laughs> and we even have a Toyota Starlet here. 
the boxy starlet from 1987 check out those rims they're small little rims in your boxy starlet and this old Fiat 131 looking very well we've got the Ford lineup here your Mark II Ford Escorts and a Mark I here check out this engine bay looking absolutely mint <laughs> with your Mark I Ford Escort we even had a Ford Transit van here as well so very hard to find commercial vehicles of this age that are in good condition because commercial vehicles as you know are bought for working and they do get abused a lot of them but this Ford Transit let's just have a look at this because it is in uh, fantastic condition and we check out the back as well look at this <laughs> great Nick all the stickers there in the back so many stickers but uh, great condition this Ford Transit keeping the old classic commercials alive and the Mexico and the RS 2000s we've seen pulling in already and your Ford Cortina as well and RS Cosworth line up here two RS Cosworths very look at the the fin on the back <laughs> very good and even more Fords lined up there wow it's quite a lineup of cars here and your old Ford Fiesta and this old Ford Mustang imported I think this came in from Australia I think it's in right hand drive I could be wrong but it is a right hand drive example and you have your Ford Capri so many different makes of cars but it really is excellent to see look I must find out what year this is what year is this one guys? Hmm? 1906? <laughs> they're getting older guys <laughs> 1906 that, that must be the oldest one now is it? 1906 and the old cock-a-doodle-doo as well, look! <laughs> the Hillman Minx, 1935 to 6. The Hillman Minx. So they did build these in Ireland, clan. Yeah, and it's based, and it's based on the Hillman Imp. Yeah, fiberglass body as well. And what year is that? 79. The clan, that's very unusual, thanks. <laughs> yeah. Right. Only a couple of these on the road, guys. The clan. Hmm. Yeah. There's a first for everything. I've never seen one of these before. Oh yeah, thanks. We'll check out the engine bay here, guys. Of the clan. <laughs> Rear engines. Wow, look at this. That is very unusual. And what sort of power? Right, 875cc, so, yeah, small little engine, yeah, yeah, and that's your clan. <laughs> Whoa, check this out, check out this beetle, guys, the gold beetle, but look at this, what's behind it? <laughs> is that an old Cadillac? Look at the size of this car here, this is huge. Look at the size of the fins on that. <laughs> 1957. That is massive. Let's just have a quick look inside of this old Cadillac. <laughs> and the rear there as well. Plenty of leg room in there, guys. Huh? I really do like that. Pink Cadillac. And the old SL there in the background as well. And we have the Renault 5 as well. I think this was the one down at the Gerard Murphy Memorial. I could be wrong, but I think it is. Yeah, finished very well. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the same one. The Renault 5. A lot of work done to this car. 1987. And those rims as well. Check them out. 
but uh, yeah, fantastic show. Now this is a very nice Toyota Celica ST, 1973, all the way down from Galway today. The 1.6 liter Toyota Celica. So he had a nice trip down today, well over 100 miles of a drive. But uh, they are a real classic now, 1973. And we just move down along because I just want to show you this. Mitsubishi 1981 5000 Turbo the Mitsubishi Lancer this is a very unusual car I've not seen one of these before 1981 5000 Turbo and the Colt Starion there behind it as well we have a 1956 Aston Martin DB3S Chassis number DB3S118. So, absolutely excellent to see this car here today. And yet again, another car I have not seen before in Ireland. Check out the hot rod. <laughs> that is cool. Wow, look at that. And the engine right on display there. <laughs> and we have a 1984 Jaguar Sovereign 4.2. But check this out beside it. Look at the Toyota Land Cruiser from 1978. Parked beside the G-Class Mercedes. Look at the size of it, the two of them. <laughs> Let's have a look inside the Toyota Land Cruiser. Very unusual car. And those bucket seats as well. Uh, very nice to see that today. The Toyota Land Cruiser from 1978. Look at the size of the tire on the back. You do some off-roading in that. And this G-Class is for sale as well. Not sure how much, there is no price on it, but it is for sale. But uh, it's kind of overshadowed now, now by this Toyota Land Cruiser. Just take a look at this Fiat 127 here from 1972. Just check out the condition on this car. Five years in restoration has gone into this car. An awful lot of work. And the only part of the whole car that has been replaced is this wing. And it wasn't even a rust issue. It was a couple of dents that were filled in badly and it just had to be replaced. That is the only panel. But what a condition this car is in. Let me just show you inside here. I have permission to have you have a look inside. But a uh, four-speed manual gearbox there, of course, from your 70s Fiat. But this car does not have much mileage at all, only around 16,000 miles from new. And I'll just show you the boot as well. An awful lot of work gone into this car and they are the original number plates from 1972 front and back original number plates and we have a look underneath as well but uh, yeah I really do like the work and the old photos there of your Fiat 127 <laughs> So that is where I'm going to wrap it up today from Port Leash Shopping Centre and Ballinakill Vintage and Classic Owners Club putting on a great show here and great to see all the support from various other clubs around Ireland coming here to Port Leash to take part in this show. <laughs> Absolutely, I really enjoyed it now I have to say and I'm two floors down here at the moment so I've no idea if it's raining outside and that's the great thing about this show. All indoors. Good lighting on the cars as well. 
And yeah, that's it guys. No more to say, that's a wrap from Port Leet. And uh, I'll definitely be back here again next year. So I do hope you enjoyed the video and I'll talk to you all again next weekend for another video. So until then, take care and thanks for watching. Cheers!